Hello everybody and welcome to the grand and long-awaited return of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. My name is Hal, and we're going to pick up right where we left off. And here we are, in the trick house. Um, say hello to our Pokemon. Hey guys, haven't seen you in a while. How are you guys doing? Now, in the last episode, which was... Jesus, it was, it was just over a year ago, actually. Uh, we finished the, uh, if I get the Pokenab open. We finished pretty much the, um, the western half of Hoenn. There's a couple of things we've got left to do. Um, but we can't do until, you know, things that we've unlocked, uh, later on in the game. Uh, but today, we are finally gonna cross this thing here. This water here. And start our, uh... Start attacking the uh, the eastern side of home and all of this gloriousness around here that we've yet to be go to. So let's go to that little uh, let's go to that uh, crossing. Okay, so here we are in Mobile City, and we're gonna go on to Route 118. Now, I can't remember whether or not I've actually beat all the trainers on this area. I think I have actually. Um, so long ago. <laughs> But we're finally going to cross this watery place right here. Yes, I would like to surf, because of course, we've just recently um, got surf, and here we are. Oh, first steps in Eastern Hoenn. I think the music is different, which is always good. Um, might as well <coughs> use these trainers to train some Pokemon up. He's going to be a fisherman, so I think we should stick with Josh. See what he has to say. Oh, okay, he's not a trainer. Oh, yes, yes, I would agree that a good rod is good. Hmm, we're of identical minds. Hmm, take this good rod. Obtain the good rod. That's a damn good rod. It's not the best rod, but it's a good rod. Wherever there's water, try your luck at fishing. So now we have a rod that catches more than freaking Magikarp. Right, now if I remember rightly, these guys have like a Loudred and a... Uh, Magneton, so... Magnetons are a bit of a bitch. Uh, so we don't want Donna. Um, let's, let's get Pikal out. Pikal and... Uh, Pikal and Genius. These guys need a bit more leveling, don't they? Especially since, you know, Genius is still a trap inch, even though he's level 34. Ah, oh, you're Hal! Hi! Do you remember us from last time? Nope. It was like a freaking year ago, man. Or woman. Can you show us how much strong you've become? Okay! Q interview. Ow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember these guys. I love the fact that I always remember thinking that Ty is a cool name. It really isn't. Unless you're a Tasmanian tiger, that is. Alright, let's do it. I think my Pokemon are a little bit overleveled, possibly. That was an intense battle. Did you get all that on camera? I hope so. It's a pretty good battle, if I say so myself. Your Pokemon suck, though. Easy. Do you remember that's the quote you gave us from the battle clincher last time? I never, ever forget stuff like that. Anyway, what do you think? Do you want to be interviewed again? Sure. You will? Thank you. Okay, I need you to describe your feelings about our battle, but it has to be short and sweet. Go. I think easy was pretty good. It was easy. Uh, speech. Uh, <laughs> uh, also, let's go with that. It makes no sense. Mm, yeah, that's the perfect clincher. I get the feeling that this will make a great TV show. There's a chance they'll air this on TV. So make sure you look for us. Okay, we'll be seeing you. Well, thanks. Okay, now this guy. This guy must be a trainer. Two fishermen next to each other who aren't trainers. That makes no sense. Let's, uh... So what he has to say. Hey, mister. There we go. Uh, I'm a fisherman, but also a trainer. I'm raising the Pokemon I caught. So you could say that you train fish Pokemon, maybe? Probably, since you're a fisherman. Barney. What a great name. Barney. Okay. Oh, Carvana. Nice. That was easy. 
thought I was doing okay in my training. Well, obviously, I'm doing a lot better. I don't remember my Pokemon being this overleveled. I just, I just genuinely don't. Okay. Oh, this guy looks interesting. Hey, I remember you. Hi, Steven. You're that trainer I met in Duford. Yes, yes, that was me. Da 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 da. Oh, uh, is there a turn of the epic face? I don't even know I can still do the epic face. Okay, you're Hal. I remember it. Thanks for remembering, Hal. In this fast world, there are many kinds of Pokemon. They come in many types. Do you raise different types, or do you raise only a Pokemon of a certain type? What do you think as a trainer? Sorry, it's not my place to ask, is it? No, it's not, bitch. Well, anyway, I hope to see you again. I don't. Seems as you're just, like, questioning my trainer style. It's not your place to ask. Damn straight. Oh, damn. Right. Okay, let's start investigating. Oh, okay. Oh, wild Pokemon encounters. How I haven't missed you. Okay, so... Now, which way do we go? Do we go up, or do we go across? Go up, or go across? Up, or across? Well, I know for a fact that we can't, um... Go very far across, so... Yeah... Yeah, why not? Let's, 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 let's go and check this area out. And this guy must be a flying type, if I remember rightly. So this would be a good opportunity to raise Pico up a bit. Let's put you there. Because he's like the only one who's not a level 34. Look at them all. Yeah, yeah, you need to you need to catch up, buddy. Right, what do you have to say? Bird Pokemon that fly elegantly in the sky. They're the best. Well, I'm not going to disagree with you. They are pretty cool. What if they're the best? It's a, it's a bit weird. Perry. Hmm. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. Oh, okay, maybe not a terrible mistake. Ugh, I crashed. Ugh, that's a great noise. Oh, okay, oh, you've got great Pokemon. I'll have to train mine better. Yeah, you will, Perry. Oh, you're a whitewash. Your wingo was no match for mine. Yeah, that's right. No match for my bollocks. That's what I said. Okay, Route 123. OCD's favorite, uh, well, members, people with OCD's favorite route. Now, what's down here, if anything? Nothing? Nothing at all? Like, hmm. That's one thing I miss about the sort of the later generation games, the item finder. You can have that just kind of open at all times down the bottom, especially in like Black and White and Black 2. Ooh, an ultra, oh, 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 oh. ultra Ball. Nice. Uh. Oh, that was not a good burp. Right. So this is about as far as we can go. There is a double battle here. I might as well use that to train up Pico again. Now I've just got to find out who's the least level 34. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a bit OCD with my leveling. I like them to all be level. I don't want some one Pokemon to get too ahead. Yeah, let's get let's get him out. Uh, switch, body blah, there we go. Okay. Let's have our boys take care of business. Hello, trainer. I hope your Pokemon won't cry when they lose. Oof. Ooh, cocky much? Oh, that's, that's, oof. Miu and Yuki. How about I take you down a peg? Oh, bugs. Lovely. I'm sorry, what was that about, you know, uh, putting up a fair fight? Oh, well, someone's cocky. Uh-oh, we lost. Yeah, yeah, that's what you get for being cocky. I mean, fair enough, your dust ducks put up a fair fight, but... Not enough of one. Ooh, you lost. And also, Pico leveled up, that's always good. Okay, so... Hello. Oh, you're a trainer. You're gonna be a grass-type trainer. I'm pretty sure Pico's up front. It's not a... Mm. They say that good times are filled with good aromas. What? Uh, mm. Okay then. Yay! Pico, you dominating bastard. And I'm really sorry for that, the opening of this battle. I, my mind went to dirty places. Oh, I smell the bitter scent of misery. 
Speaking of uh, mind going to dirty places, <laughs> you smell like sex and shame. <laughs> oh. The Berry Master's garden is full of the uplifting fragrances. Oh, you're talking about plants. Oh, that's, yeah, that's much less dirty. And look at all these berries that I'm not going to pick. I, I, I just, I feel bad. He's, this guy's been working hard, but I'll go inside and talk to him. The Berry Master. I don't want to pick your crops, though. Hey, Mr. Berry Master. You may call me the Berry Master. So, he is the Berry Master. I think the lesson to take from this is that he's the Berry Master. I dream of filling the world with a beautiful flower, so I raise berries and hand them out to everyone. You're deserving of one. Nommel berry. Not to be confused with nommels. Those aren't tasty at all. They taste like, you know, lava. I'll put away the blah blah blah. Why be stingy? Take another. Oh, and I got a corn berry, which has nothing to do with corn. No, 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 because it's got the extra N, so it can't be the same thing. Be sure to visit the pretty petal flower shop near Rustboro. Let flowers fill the world. Aww. Aren't, aren't you just a, aren't you just an upli uplifting citizen? What about your wife? What do you say? The way my husband grows berries, oh, he's the best in the world. He makes me proud. That he does. Incidentally, child, have you heard a good saying lately? Um... Hmm, good saying. Um... I like, I like the word also, apparently. Um, there. There we go, I want to go to that. Also what, though? Also... Also what? Also... Uh... Hey, I know a good saying. Let's be really, really cheesy. Let's be really, really cheesy indeed. Yeah, 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 we should. Yeah, well, let's be cheesy. Let's... And... Can I go to... P... Da -da -da -da. Let's play. How, how cheesy is that? Oh, I feel a little bit warm and cut fuzzy inside for that. Oh, well, good saying it is. You're quite remarkable. I want you to have this. An as pear berry. Again, not to be confused with pears. Completely different. Our four grandchildren should become more accomplished than my husband. Joy never goes out of my life. Well, I thought Joy was a nurse. Does she just, like, drop in randomly? She's like, hi, do you remember me? I'm that nurse that's everywhere. No? Okay, then. Oh, and the TV's flickering. I wonder what this could be. In search of trainers. Gabby. Hi, today I'm visiting an, er an area near Route 118. We're trying to spot some up-and-coming new talent in the field. Today we turned our lens on the trainer, Hal. There's something about this trainer that piqued our interest. We battled Hal before, but we can attest that the trainer has most definitely improved from before. I knew we were onto someone special when we spotted this trainer. The best way to determine how strong a trainer is? Well, the fastest way is to battle. And so we began our investigation. Dot, 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 dot. On TV, yeah. There's no editing in TV, even with epic faces. That's how we ended up in a battle with Hal. In a dominating performance, we were flattened, rolled up, and tossed aside. Hal is ruthlessly strong. Hell yeah, I am. We asked our trainer for a... a, 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 a this, I don't know what this word is. Succinct. Succinct? Uh, summation of the battle we shared. The combination of Trepinch and Laron was divine. Hell yeah. And Scyther and Trepinch and Laron selflessly supporting each other in the thick of battle. It was a marvellous sight to behold. Iron Tail was the move the trainer used last in our battle. The move Iron Tail is Trepinch and Laron's sign of friendship. Oh. After, <coughs> After our battle, we asked Hal for a succinct summary. The trainer replied, also. How's Pokemon Trepinch, Laron, and also? Also what? Ah, see? See? There was, there was no logic behind that. Hmm, that's deep. There's deep significance be behind that quote. There's no surprise a good trainer has good things to say. That's all for today. See you again on our next broadcast. Well, that was a m an amazing waste of time. But then again, I'm not exactly doing anything productive going down this route at all. Because it's a dead end. For now, it's like a one-way street. Uh, can I get through this patch of grass about? Yes, yes I can. Right, another trainer battle. And I'm going to move... Uh, oh, I need to cure Pico, don't I? Because he's paralysed. Do I have anything that will cure paralysis? I don't remember. Do I have any cherry berries? Those are ones that... Do I have cherry berries? I don't know cherry berries. Well, hot damn, I need more cherry berries. Uh, it is cherry berries, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, where's items? Paralyzed hail. Well, I've got freaking nine of those. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Who needs cherry berries when you have nine? Okay. Mr. Dude. Let's let's do some battling. 
take flight, my bird Pokemon. Huzzah! That was very sort of dramatic. This guy should be an actor as well. Uh, except his name is Chester. It's not a very actory name. I should know. Anyway, what have you got? You got a Taylo. That's, that's kind of easy. Yeah, really easy. My Pokemon are just really powerful. They did take flight. Ugh, yeah. Float like they fly like a brick. Or a, a plane that crashes. Oof. Anyway, um Hello, what's in this Pokeball? A hyper potion. Oh my god, my bag is full. Ah oh, crap. Um I forgot this could happen. Uh I'm so used to not having, like, well, not having a limit on my bags space. Um, what have we got that we can give to someone? Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, why have I got so much mail? <laughs> I don't want mail. It's useless. Hardstone. Rock-type Pokemon. Uh, seriously, I've got so much mail. I, what, what was I doing? I haven't actually got that much items. There must all be crap that I don't need. Um, let's, uh, let's give, I don't know, Blockberry. Well, that's great. The one I've got one of. Uh, Defrost. Let's just give that to someone. Well, next time I get to a, oh, but there's going to be a load of items. What the hell's wrong with me, Hal? Why did I, why did, yeah, that was weird. Um, okay. Finally picked up the goddamn Hyper Potion. Oh, I can't believe my bag's full. There's not even that much crap in it. Anyway, moving on. Now we're going up to Route 119. And there's a guy on a bike. What, what's up, guy? What, what, what's wrong? Shh! It's a no-go. The tall grass, snares, bike tires. There's no way you can cycle through here. Well, why don't you get off your bike? I mean, these things fold up and you can put them in your bag. Just see? See? I can walk through fine. See? Oh, that guy moved. <gasps> rain! Ah, oh, I like rain. Anyway, this, this, this bit here is possibly my favourite part in the entire game. This sort of, this route. The one going up to Fortree and the one going back down on the way to Lily Cove. Simply because even though the graphics don't really represent it that much, in my mind's eye, it's, it's a rainforest. Like a jungle kind of thing. Um, and I reckon if they ever did make like a remake or something, you know, I, I don't think they will. I want to believe, but I don't think they will. I've always imagined this place as kind of being like a proper jungle. Oh, hi, random Pokemon. Right, first Pokemon uh, trainer back. Come here, bitch. There we go. <laughs> the mimic circle is formed by people who like to mimic. About starts the instant we meet. Yay. Okay. Bug catcher Kent. He's got a ninja ask. A little bug Pokemon. Lovely. Well, obviously, he's a bug catcher. It is raining. It is raining. That always reminds me of that thing from The Office, uh, when so it's someone's birthday party. I think it's Kelly's, and they're just like, they put up a banner saying, it is your birthday. <laughs> it's great. It's just the grammar. Anyway. And that was just too easy. I surrender. You can't, s s well, can you surrender once you be beaten? Isn't that the whole point of surrendering? Oh, there's an item. What is it? Let's ho I hope I can pick it up. Okay, I really need to sort out my items, because I've got things like, well, I've got all that freaking mail. Super Reaper, which is good. Yeah, all that freaking mail, I've got things like Firestones and stuff like that, I can just put them in the PC. So first thing, first port of call when I get to the next computer is to, uh, which will be at the Weather Institute, I think. Anyway, hey dude, you don't know who I am, do you? No, we just, we literally just met. How am I supposed to know who you are? But I also don't know you. Okay, stating the obvious here. So we'll battle. That's pretty much how it works. Thanks for pointing out the rules halfway through the game. Knob. <laughs> I bet he's got a really ridiculous name as well. Greg. My cousin's called Greg. <laughs> anyway. Sweet! 
So we defeat Greg. You're pretty strong. Hell yeah, I am. The TV said so. Oh! Ooh! Hmm! Hmm! Woo! -hoo. So, uh, Genius is involving. He's, uh, yeah. Hot damn. I forgot it was 35 he evolves. Instantly more badass. I mean, the difference between Trapinch and Vibrava is ridiculous, but Vibrava is awesome, and so is Flygon. But... Ah, but he can learn Dragon Breath now. Yes, we'll make Thingy. Uh, we'll make room. Now, what should I get rid of? Um, let's get rid of Crunch. I don't really use Crunch that much. Well, I do, but it's useless now. It's kind of getting a bit weak for where we are in the game. So we learned Dragon Breath. Sweet. And we're now out here. Okay. Uh, we go up here. There's a couple more trainers in there we need to fight, but I think we'll come back to them. Uh, actually, no. Let's not do that. Come here. Oh, you, you wench. Come here. There we go. <laughs> oh, I forgot to switch Pokemon. Crap. With a Mimic Circle, we mimic what you do. Yeah, and you run away when I'm trying to chase you. That's not mimicking. That's doing the exact opposite of what I'm doing. I'm trying to chase you and you're running away. Bitch. Brent. Okay. He's got a Surskit. That's 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 easy for little Laron. That was just too easy. It was ridiculous easy. A oh, whoopsie. I lost. Hell yeah, he did. He lost like a girl. Anyway, uh, I'm not saying girls lose. In fact, that was a really ridiculous th thing to say. I'm just, I'm just sorry. I'm just so sorry. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's put Donna up front because she needs some training. And there's an item over here that I bet we can't pick up. Oh yes, we can. It's a hyper potion. We already have those. So it makes no sense that my bag is full yet. I can still get more items of stuff I've already got. Pokemon logic. Anyway, hi. Hey, dude. Yeah, you finally caught me. Or were you trying to avoid me? No, you were trying to avoid me. Yeah. Mm, these guys are confusing. In fact, they're just weird. I'm just gonna go with weird. Anyway, bug catcher Doug. Hey, I know Doug. Doug's a cool name. I like Doug. And Encarta. This should be quite easy with, uh, with Donna in the lead. And you're done. Whoop, that was a great match. Yeah, it was for me. It wasn't so much for you. Sorry, bud. With the Mimic Circle, I hope you enjoyed our performance. If by performance you mean bit and you're and then <clears throat> I was trying to say, if perfor by performance you mean getting your ass handed to me, to you, by me. Oh my god, Atropius. These are awesome Pokemon. I love them. They're like dinosaurs with fruit hanging on their ears. That makes no sense. And they fly! But I don't really want one. Um, I've already got my flying type and a grass type. I've never really needed them before. But I know for a fact that if I ever did a run through with something like Torchic or Mudkip, this would be the, gr the grass type I'd go for. Anyway. I digress. Right, have we got one more left to do? This oh no, we've already beat that guy. Okay, go home, Tropius. One thing I've always kind of... It's, oh, okay, so you, I can fight you. One thing that's always baffled me a bit about Tropius is that in the games, it's got this really deep, low grumble of a cry. And then in the anime, it's like... Nah! That's my impression of an anime Tropius. Anyway, come here, bitch. Come here. There we go. If you step forward, we step forward. If you turn right, we turn too. Okay, I get it. You've, you've mimicked my moves. You don't have to explain it to me every time. Taylor. That's that's such kind of name. Anyway, you've got a worm pull. Shut up. Donna's level 35. 
My god, that was one of the douchiest dust oxes I've ever seen. Protect and moonlight? Really? That's not a combination, that's just noob. But if you win, I lose. Ah, you can't mimic me now, can ya? Brunch. Okay, um, let's switch out Donna. Who needs... Uh, let's do Luca next. Uh, leave Josh till last, because I, I don't know why, but I always leave my... When it comes to leveling up, I always leave my starter to last. So I always feel that... I don't know, one time I played through a game and, like, my starter just went... <laughs> in terms of level compared to everything else. And ever since then, I kind of always leave my starter to last. I don't like the idea of my starter leading. Uh, yeah, leading in level. I just It just seems a bit off. Anyway. Okay, oh, I guess we're done. Because these guys have all been defeated. I, I think I might have missed one, but I can't be asked to go out now. Back in there now. Got out now. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I thought you fly by catching a whole flock of bird Pokemon and then hanging onto them somehow. But it turns out there's an HE move called fly. I wish I'd known about that a long time ago. You're a silly, silly man. I, ho I hope, I hope, just for the sake of, just for the sake of pure ridiculousness, you tried that. You tried that theory, and it failed. That would have been amazing to watch. It would have been like a fireball of birds. Oh my god, these are the birds you used, aren't they? Holy, holy crap. That's a lot of wingo. Anyway. Hi there, Miss Lady. What do you want? Heard about a cave called the Cave of Origin. People rumour that the spirits of Pokemon are revived there. Could something like that really happen? This is the Pokemon world. Pretty much everything is technologically advanced, and anything that's more advanced than the technology we have, it just constitutes as magic. Anyway, so we have some water. Hello, water. Uh, yes, let's go, and, let's go and investigate this water. Because, can I get over to there with that Pokemon? Yeah. No, I can't. Nip. There we go. So there's a nice little area over here with an item that I probably can't pick up. Because, and these, I think this is the first bush you've seen. These bushes can make uh, secret bases, which makes no sense whatsoever, but it's still cool. I'm saying the zinc, too bad, bag's full. Fucking bag. Let's have a look. What have we got? Can I give, I can't give anything anyway, can I? No, I'm just going to throw away some, wait, is the, yeah it is. Uh... Let's just throw away some mail. Oh, okay. Because mail is just... I, why would you use mail in this game? Apart from if you really, really wanted to leave your friend that you're trading a funny message, but meh. Anyway, so we've got zinc. And if I get any more items, I'll just use that on somebody. Now, hey buddy, how you doing? You're a fisherman, aren't you? You got some fish? You know what fish are weak against, right? Grass types. Grass types like my buddy here, Josh. Yeah. And you know what's coming, don't you? He spoke to me. Say so you want to challenge me. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do, buddy. Sure, I'll try out the Pokemon I caught while surfing. You're a fisherman, not a surfer. Douche. <sighs> Stop pining away from your stereotype. Your character profiling. Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so gonna kick your ass. And there we go. Yeah, the Feebas. That's pretty impressive. And he also had a magic cup that knew something other than just Splash, which is still quite impressive. I don't have a clue about what it takes to win. Obviously. I mean, if you're a fisherman who surfs, just, just no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Right, so I'm going to get back onto here because as far as I'm aware, further up the river, there is a waterfall that you can't get up because we don't have waterfall. And down there always there, there is a secret base tree. So we're going to move up here. I think there's a waterfall, okay. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There, no, there's not even a waterfall, there's just rocks. And some berries. And a secret hiding place. But there is, however, this cool bridge th looking thing. Now, if we get on our bike, uh, we can ride on it. And... Bunny hop, please. Oh, wait, you need to... Whoop. Come on. Whoop. Whoop. No, no again. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> and there's some cool stuff up here. I don't think there's much up here, actually. There's literally just uh, secret bases. There's one there. 
and there's a bush there. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Now if I could get back onto this. Ah, I've forgotten how dodgy controlling a GBA game with a GameCube controller is. It's a bit dodgy. Come on, come on. Or it might just be my GameCube controller. Come on. No, it doesn't work. There we go. Right, let's get off my bike. So we're going to progress on up here. Uh, so as I was trying to say, we're going to progress just a little bit further up here. Not too long. This guy, this guy, who's this guy? Can your Pokemon use its secret power on a big pile of grass and make a secret base? Well, yes, yes I can. But I thought they were bushes. G bushes make more sense than piles of grass. I swear they do. Piles of grass makes even less sense to build a base in. That's just, that's just ridiculous. I'm sorry, but just what the hell? <laughs> anyway. Now, here we have... Did, wait, did I switch out? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I switched out, Luca. Now, I think this will be the last trainer we pull. Oh, look at you. For someone on an adventure, you're traveling awfully light. My bag's full, okay? I've got a tiny bag. But, uh, well, that's not something I should shout, really. Why is my mind going to dirty places today? Anyway, hi, Catherine. No, no love for shortened names? No? Okay, then. That was ridiculously easy. I forgot. Is Psychic strong against grass? Or is it poison? It might be poison. Accidents happen when you're not prepared. But I am prepared. Prepared to kick your ass. Ha! <laughs> anyway, so I'm moving across here. Is it here? Or is it slightly further up? I think it's here. This lovely bridge. I love the fact that the, these bridges go across this route like this. It's so cool. Anyway. I believe it's here. Is it here? Oh, no, I guess not. I think I'm going to leave it here today, folks. Just just here. Literally just here. Uh, because I've been recording for nearly an hour, and <laughs> even though this will be shorter, I, I've forgotten uh, how easy it is to get wrapped up in this game. Uh, so, first episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Fucking yes! I, uh, I'm so glad to be recording this again. I hope it's been up to the notch of the previous episodes. Uh, so, in, in the next episode, we'll carry on heading north up one, is it 118? I believe it's 118, it might be 19 actually. Yeah, I think it's 119. Uh, and touch on the, uh, touch, we'll go and visit the Weather Institute, and I believe we could possibly be ki kicking some, uh, bad guys' asses. Yeah, if I could get that sentence out as well, that would be great. Um, so, until then, thank you guys for watching, my name is Hal Diamond, and I will see you next time. Cheers!